into peatlands, it's usually burnt or, or one species of trees. So actually going to, to a forest where there's healthy vegetation was, was a very interesting experience for me. And also hearing from the experts about the climate change link has also been very useful uh, in trying to convey this unique ecosystem to my audience in Singapore. Saya menemukan banyak uh, pemahaman baru bagaimana terdapat sebuah uh, institusi yang mencari uh, sebuah keuntungan dari uh, kredit karbon. I'm very inspired with the uh, local people to plant the tree and uh, how to protect the peatland. How uh, I learned uh, lesson uh, from them to uh, develop the business and uh, how to uh, improve the lionhood for the local community. I was uh, known about the peatland. Uh, peatland peat can store the carbon dioxide. Uh, when it destroys, uh, the carbon emission will be occur. That's why we need to protect the peatland. I will write about the link with peatland and the climate change, and I will add about the REDT+. We've seen a whole range of things on this trip. People uh, de developing alternative livelihoods from changing their practices from traditional practices of burning and doing even illegal logging and moving towards more sustainable practices like uh, growing vanilla, products that they can do themselves and earn some livelihoods in a sustainable way that isn't de degrading or damaging the peatlands. And we've also learned uh, and had some fantastic opportunities to see orangutans that are facing huge habitat reduction, but they're also being rehabilitated and there's a lot of good work being done on that here in Kalimantan.